Okay, now we will talk about one-sided limits. And if you're taking notes on the printed page, draw in a function that looks like this. Suppose we have a curve and there's a discontinuity here. Suppose at the value x equals 2, there's a break in the graph and the y value jumps up and then it continues like this. And suppose these are y values of 4 and 5. Okay, so we have some points on the graph we can refer to. In this case, we would say the limit of this function, the limit of f of x, as x approaches 2, we would say it does not exist. The limit does not exist. And that's sometimes abbreviated DNE, does not exist. And the reason it doesn't exist is because we can't find a single y value that this function f stays close to as the x values get near 2. You can see if, you're, if we're getting really close to 2, we're getting close to one y value on one side of 2, and we're getting close to another y value here on another side of 2. So even though the limit doesn't exist, we can still describe the behavior of the function near x equals 2 in terms of one-sided limits. And this is the goal here, to describe the behavior of the function. Clearly, around the point x equals 2, that's where the interesting behavior occurs in this particular case. So we want to be able to describe the way the function behaves at that x value, and the limit notation is what's useful to do that with in this case. So we can say the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x equals 4. And this notation right here, we're saying x approaches 2, and then that little negative sign in the superscript position uh, right after the 2 means x approaches 2 from the left. Just think about your number line, and remember we have positive numbers to the right typically and negative numbers to the left. That's what that little negative sign superscripted right there means. That means as x approaches 2 from the left. So imagine getting closer and closer to 2 from way over there on the left side, from the negative direction. So x is approaching 2 from the left, then we're moving along the curve here, getting closer and closer to this point, and our y values are getting closer and closer to 4. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is 4. And we can also say the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x in this case, if we get closer and closer to an x value of 2, then we're moving along the curve, getting closer and closer to this point, and that's getting us closer and closer to a y value of 5. So we can say the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x is 5. Now this is not hard. This is fairly obvious if you look at the graph. If you're in a in this level of mathematics, you should be looking at this and thinking this is pretty easy. And conceptually it is not very difficult. What we're mainly learning here is a notation. How we use limit notation to describe the behavior of the graph in these types of situations. Okay, next look at this example. And if you're taking notes on the printed page, draw in a graph like this one. It starts here at the point 2, 3, and then it winds up upward and it ends up here at this, this point which isn't actually plotted. There's an open circle there at the point x equals 5, y equals 6. And we're going to talk about the limit at an x value of 2 and at an x value of 5. And first here, the limit as x approaches 2, and specifically as x approaches 2 from the right. The limit as x approaches 2 from the right. So imagine our x value is getting really, really close to 2 from the right side. Or in other words, imagine moving along the curve, getting really, really close to that x value of 2, and you should see that the y values there are getting really, really close to 3. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of this function is 3. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left, well, over here, if we're getting really, really close to 2 from the left, in that area, or in that region, for those x values, the function doesn't even exist. So the limit here does not exist. So we'll write DNE does not exist. And then the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x does not exist. In order for the limit to exist, the left and right limits both have to exist and must be the same. So the limit as x approaches 2 does not exist. It would only exist if 
if it existed from both sides and if it were the same from both sides. Now let's look here at x equals 5. The limit as x approaches 5 from the right, well once again the function is not defined in those regions so we're going to say does not exist. The limit as x approaches 5 from the right does not exist, but as x approaches 5 from the left, here if we get really really close to an x value of 5 then we're moving along the curve and getting really really close to a y value of 6. So the limit as x approaches 5 from the left is 6. And then the limit as x approaches 5 does not exist. So we'll write DNE. If we approach 5 we don't approach a particular value as we approach from both sides. In other words, the left and right limits aren't the same. Doesn't even exist in one case, so the limit at 5 does not exist. So again, remember that little rule, which is basically just a matter of definition. For a limit to exist, the left and right limits must both exist and must be equal.